The concrete or stone surface should be acid etched prior to coating. This is not to make the surface rough as some think, but that is a byproduct of the process. Acid etching cleans the calcium sulfate off the surface of the concrete. This is the powdery residue that is pushed to the surface as the concrete hydrates. The step is very important for new concrete. Older concrete may have seen the calcium sulfate slough off over time, but this does not mean there is not calcium on the surface of the concrete or stonework. A pond that has been run with water and no protective coating will almost always have some sort of mineral buildup that occurs over time. Before you begin, make sure to wear protective clothing, gloves, goggles, and breathing protection. While muriatic acid is a very mild acid, it is still caustic and will cause damage if misused. In our scenario, you start by mixing one part of muriatic acid with three parts of water. Always pour the water into the acid. This minimizes acid splashing about needlessly. You can use a stir stick to blend the two components together. In our example, the concrete surface has a very thick layer of calcium sulfate on it. You can see how the material covers the surface in varying degrees. The amount of calcium your project may have on it will directly depend upon the concrete recipe used when the concrete was first mixed. As an example, we use a screwdriver to gouge at the calcium sulfate on this sample. As you can see, it is very powdery and easily scratched off. Pour the mixture onto the concrete. The foaming action is the acid dissolving the calcium on the surface of the concrete. As it dissolves the calcium, the foaming action will dissipate, at which point the surface can be rinsed off. This normally only takes a few minutes to accomplish. You can rinse and either drain the pond or use a wet dry vacuum to pull all of the rinse water mixture out of your pond. Do not let the acid water mixture remain in the pond and dry or the calcium suspended in the water will settle back onto the floor of the pond and harden there once again. This would negate the purpose of cleaning the surface in the first place. should acid etch old and new concrete and stonework. Muriatic acid or pool acid as it is commonly known is the best cheapest cleaner that you can use for this process. There are other products that will work that may be friendlier in nature so check with your local concrete company or tile store. As long as it will clean the calcium off of the surface it will work for our purpose. During the hydration period, normal concrete will push calcium to the surface for the first 28 days. This only happens for 7 days with an accelerated or a polymer type of concrete. It is because of this process that you must wait to acid etch the surface and clean the calcium off. If you etch too soon, you are not stopping this process and the calcium pushed to the surface could push the new coating off the concrete. 
After all has been rinsed out, let the pond dry for a few days. The drier the surface, the better the pond shield will bond to it. Here you can see the difference between the clean concrete and the unclean concrete. This is what you're looking for.